I've got a question from Sets. Uh, and what is let me first read the question of the total candidate in an examination 40% 40% student passed in math 45 in science and 55 in health now let us represent this information say percentage of student who passed in math be represented by n m which is 40% uh, similarly number of student who passed in science is 45% and number of students who passed in health is 55% also we've been said 10% student passed in both math and science so number of students who passed in both math and science math in the section science is equal to 10% Number of strain who passed in uh, science and health is 20%, in science and health is 20%, and in health and math is 50%, health and math is 15%. This is our question, and uh, furthermore, we've been said. If every student passed at least one subject, from this what we can conclude or predict is that the total number of students say M union science union health should be equal to our universal set U, which I represent it in Venn diagram. This which is our first question. So let me illustrate it in, in Venn diagram. One, this is our first circle, two, three, uh, say, M, math, science, and health, and uh, the universe, or the total, is our universal set, let us represent it by purple color. This is our universal set, which includes our three subset or three sets M, S, and H. Uh, number of percentage of students who pass in math is 40%. So let us write here 40%. In science, it's 45, and health is 55. In science, it's 45, and it, in health, it's 55 percent. Now, uh, we didn't know the percent of students who passed in all three subjects, math, science, and health. So, let us suppose it to be X percentage. Uh, but we have been told that the percentage of students who passed in math and science is 10%. So, math and science. Here is math. Here is science. This becomes our 10%, which intersects each other. S and that's 20%. S and H 20% and M and H M and H it's 15% 15% so this is our Venn diagram uh, now what we have to do is what we can predict is uh, if we add the total number of strengths uh, it should uh, uh, if we add the total number of strength total percentage of student percentage of students it should be equal to the universal set that is always equals to sorry 100 percent is now uh, our total number of students we can uh, we have the formula say Percentage of student who takes math or who passed in math, number of student who passed in science, and number of student who passed in health minus number of student who passed in both math and science minus number of student who passed in science and health minus number of student who passed in uh, math and science who passed in math and health. Plus, if we add 
the intersection of all three sets say m intersection science intersection health this should be equal to our universal set which should be equal to our m union s union at so what we can write is percentage of strain who pass in math is 40 science 45 and health 55 so 40 plus 45 plus 55 this is our percentage i'll write it later on minus number of strain who pass in math and science math and science it's the, this part math and science is 10 so 10 minus minus science in health science in health it's 20 minus uh, science in math and science sorry math and health it's 15 so uh, minus 15 plus number of strain who passed in math science and health means strain who passed in all three subjects it's x because uh, this is the common point of intersection for all three circles of M, S, and H. So, X should be equal to uh, our universal set, which is 100. I've already said it before. Now, when we solve this, 40 minus 10 is 30, 45 minus 20 is 25, plus 55 minus 15 is 40, plus x should give 100, and when we add this 70, 40 plus 30 is 70, 95 plus x gives 100, therefore our common point of intersection or M complement S complement at is sorry M intersection at intersection at is uh, five percent, which is ninety five, which is ninety five minus hundred is five percent. So we can say five percent strain passed in all three subject. Uh, this is equal to five. S So calculate the percentage of strain who passed in all three subjects. Uh, we have uh, suppose it to be X percentage, uh, that is 5 percentage, which is our answer. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.